Hello and welcome to theCUBE and our Super Cloud 4 event on Gen AI and more. I'm Rob Streche, Managing Analyst with theCUBE Research. And today I'm super excited to have David Glick, SVP Enterprise Business Services for Walmart joining us. It's really, you know, again, getting it from the front lines of people who are applying Gen AI to the problems they're solving for their associates. So welcome on board, David. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's excited. I, I, again, uh, I'm a happy Walmart customer, by the way. We have one here in Westboro, Mass, that I, uh, I do frequent. So really appreciate you know, all the work you do. Uh, I think the apps and being able to get there and how you're going to apply Gen AI to that customer experience and for your associates is really exciting. Uh, but let's kind of go into one of the announcements that you had just a month back where you know, Walmart shipped Gen AI so that the associates could really safely use Gen AI features without worrying about you know, IP leakage and security concerns. Obviously, IP leakage is a huge concern for most companies. They're really worried about public commercial models that are tuning themselves and getting smarter based on the prompts and the information put into prompts. So why don't you first kind of give us an idea of Walmart's view on build your own versus buying Gen AI. Yeah, uh, well, first let me say that Doug McMillan has come out publicly and said, we are going to use Gen AI in all sorts of ways in our, um, across the enterprise. Uh, you know, my job is to take care of associates and they'll take care of customers. And so the way we've organized is um, that we have a team, a platform team, who is making sure, do we have the right firewall set up? Are we using the right models? Is, are we doing it cost effectively? And then I'm an application team. And so I have the, the fun part, which is taking care of our associates. And you know, one of the things we did even before Gen AI is we said, you know, the, we want a consumer grade experience for our associates. So they don't have to go to a third party app to approve expense reports, another app to go order food at the cafeteria and another app and so on and so on. How do we bring this together in a consumer grade uh, application for our associates? Um, and we call that me at campus. And so they should be able to do everything they need to do from an HR and finance and enterprise perspective in that app. As part of that, we, we shipped last month, my assistant. And that is, uh, gives them the ability to safely put in whatever experimentation they want to do with Gen AI. So it might be, I want to write a press release. Can you write a first draft for me? Um, I would like to create a product detail page. We don't even know the many things our associates will come up with. And so one of the things we want to do is, is basically crowdsource ideas for the next killer app for Gen AI. And, and by doing, allowing the associates to, to ask their questions, we can monitor that and figure out what people are using it for. Yeah, so you're doing the prompt engineering part to get a better idea for what they're doing and how they want to consume the data and what questions they have that kind of leads to the the whole how you know how did you get here and where did the data come from how did you train the model did you, what base model were you using and how did you really you know jump into this deep end because i think that to me it's the getting started part that a lot of companies are sitting there you know scratching their head going okay we have a use case and you know you you have you talk about the one with the associates and i love the one around press release i think that's a perfect example uh, of you know writing a press release has some structure to it and understanding okay you're missing these pieces or you have all of the data how do i summarize that how did you really start get started and you know how did the model develop i guess and how did you train that model yeah um, you know you know, they say, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. <laughs> and so, you know, the first thing is to take the first bite. And so we want to, two different ways, uh, you know, first of all, as I said, we have, we use many different models from different vendors and open source. And, you know, the value of the basic model, like uh, OpenAI, BART, everybody's done a great job of creating the basic model. Um, for us, it's like, how do we put something on top of that, that that can do things specific for Walmart? And so we came in two directions. One is, as I said, from the bottoms up, let's crowdsource what the killer app is, but also we want to get started and we don't want to wait for that. And so we sat down with our team and said, you know, what can we do today? And, uh, you know, LLMs are great as chatbots and 
great at summarizing things. And so I own the benefits help desk. So our associates, you know, when they have a question about, can I open a 401k or, you know, am I covered for this procedure? Like they, they have a, we have a benefits guy, but sometimes it's complicated. And so they call our help desk and, you know, the people at our help desk memorize a 300 page benefits guide. And so, you know, if you think about which is better to memorize a 300 page document, is it a, a agent or a computer? And so what we've done is we, we love, we're people led. So we love the empathetic interaction and, and the people interaction that our agents have, but we want to give them some help or augmentation. And so the first thing we did is put our benefits guide into the vector DB, right? And said like, let's yep. use whatever LLM, uh, you know, we can switch back and forth and see one, which one does the greatest, best job, but let's put our information on top of those. And that actually went pretty quickly. Um, the magic of Gen AI, like there's good things and bad things about Gen AI, but the magic is you can go fast, right? One of the engineers said, oh, I'm going to try this over the weekend. And Monday morning, we were able to answer 95% of the top 200 benefits questions just as good as the agent did with the, with the, uh, with the AI. And so wow. that would have taken us months or years to do pre previous to Gen AI. Yeah, no, I, I think that's, that's the key, right? It's the human in the loop activity you don't you're not you're making them smarter making their job easier actually more enjoyable in many cases and we see that even with developers and things of that nature where you know using their co-pilots of every elk i guess out there and i think that to me really makes a lot of sense is that you're basically taking a base model and you're enhancing it with your Walmart specific information keeping it secure and that security had to be a big a big piece of how you approach this and how you went about this. Yeah, um, you know, security is job one. Uh, you know, we want to keep our our people's data private. We want to keep our company data private. And so, you know, I say recruiting is P zero, but security is P negative one. <laughs> like, there's no priority above that for us. Um, and so, we we built the right firewalls and we built the right guardrails around it. So whatever, um, whatever LLM we use, we keep our data inside our own firewall. Yeah, you, you talked about, you know, the My Assist for me at campus. You know, what are some of the other things that it can do and some of the advantages that you, you know, the associates are starting to see out of it? Yeah, I mean, we've had associates who, who come in and, and what we're finding is when we tell them do this, this and this, that doesn't work that well. We say, just try it. And you, you could create a product detail page or you could, um, you could write a press release, you could summarize a document. Um, there is no end to the ideas. And, and so as we're getting a month's data, two months of data, we're going through and looking at, you know, which ones are the ones that are good ideas, which ones are the ones that are used frequently, and, and effectively crowdsourcing this rather than having a bunch of senior executives sit in a room trying to figure out what the right thing is. Yeah, that, I think that's the thing is, to your point, uh, you know, how do you find the next killer app for it? Uh, you know, on the uh, on your on your other side, I, I've always been saying that one of the things that I would love is me to be able to put in into an LLM into you know the app, and I'm walking down the Walmart aisles, and I've said, here's the recipe I'm going to make. Warn me as I walk past the thing, like the garlic I couldn't find yesterday when I was going in to go and find it. And then, so I don't have to double back three times to figure it out because it moved from one shelf to the other. I think things like that. So are you, are you starting to see where the associates are coming up with things and you're being able to tune the prompts and things of that nature? Yeah, I mean, I love your, your use case of, you know, making it easier for customers. You know, we want to make it easier for associates and usually they make it easier for customers. You know, Walmart has, has um, launched over the last several years, the ability to have products delivered to your house. So you don't even have to go to the store or yeah, you can go to the store and pick it up and that's quicker. Or, you know, the next gen, you know, the next, uh, what is it? The next frontier is like, how do we know where you are in the store and we can guide you through the store. And uh, that's a great application for uh, something that makes customers convenient, make things convenient for customers, whether we use Gen AI or whatever technology, what we really want is delightful experiences for our customers and delightful experiences for our associates. Yeah, no, I, I think especially the associates part, I think, again, you're looking at it and helping people have a better work-life balance and getting their job and more job satisfaction. I think to me, that totally makes sense with that. 
And you know, what are some of the things that you're seeing that could be potentially you know, that next killer app for Walmart? Um, I, you know, I love, like, I think about, you know, how do we answer questions for associates? Um, how do we not have to have them ask questions, right? You know, the best question is the one that never gets asked because we make it simple for them to understand all of the complexity that it's around them. And, you know, as, as technologists and developers, uh, we need to take complex things and make them simple for the users. And, you know, whether it's uh, calling the help desk or understanding their benefits or understanding their financials, all of these things are things that we want to do to help our associates live better lives. Yeah, no, that that is, I, I think, the number one uh, thing a company can do is really look out for their their associates, and I, I think it's fantastic to hear that really Walmart's investing in that. And I, I think that to me is one of the things where this is really, you know, people are always worried and scared about Gen AI. Have you had to do some training or to get people to embrace this and understand that, hey, it's not only safe, it's we developed it and here's how it's going to make your life that much easier? Or has it just been organic that they've been able to pick it up and run with it? Um, you know, Walmart's a people-led, tech-powered, omni-channel retailer, we say in our statement. And so we don't lose the part about people-led. I mean, one of the things that may, that's making adoption easier is that Doug has come out publicly, both internally and externally, and said, this is important. We are a big tech company, and we are going to be on the front edge of this thing. And so it turns out that driving adoption when your CEO is completely bought in <laughs> makes it simpler. <laughs> But we are also, we have a program, we do what we call idea jams. And we sit down with the business folks and the technologists and say, what would you like to do with this? And spend two hours like explaining to them, you know, what are the capabilities of LLMs? What are Walmart specific capabilities? And then you come up as the user, tell us what would make it easier. And I think you mentioned um, earlier, like, could we create 10Ks? Or could we create these documents, which are pretty formulaic, they have the same thing in each quarter and we have the data and we can now with the LLMs, we can we can write what we want to with the narrative. And so, you know, whether it's finance or legal or people, everybody's coming up with these applications and it's fun. It's great to have a, a, a full funnel for a technologist, right? We, we have no shortage of ideas and now we can go start knocking them out. Are you, are you seeing that you're applying uh, Gen AI as well, and actually the development cycles as well. Are you getting into that as well? Um, that is that is on the docket, uh, a little bit outside of my space. But yes, we, we believe that there is immense opportunity to be uh, unlocked there. You know, we want to be very careful. You know, our code base is the company Jewels. So yeah. we want to be very careful, even more careful than some other things of keeping that inside our firewall and making sure we do it safely. No, that that totally makes sense. I think that it's such an exciting space, and I think that you know, when you start to look at everything that can be done, you know, leaning into it, as you said, having your CEO really stepping out there and saying, "Hey, this is really important to us. We're really a technology company, technology enabled, but people led." I think I love that. You can't take the human out of it because. I think there are certain things that just, you know, it's great, like you said, the 300-page doc or writing a 10K for the CFO's organization where it's very formulaic. Uh, the answers don't change. Very, maybe they change year to year. And in fact, you can see, you know, an LLM is actually good at giving you that for like health benefits and stuff <laughs> like that or how they've changed. Because how many times have you gone through and tried to figure out, okay, what really changed in this health benefit sheet? And I, I think to, to me, that's a perfect use of an LLM. Yeah, and you know, reading, interpreting, um, and then spitting out the answer rather than spending hours working on you know trying to figure out these things which actually aren't your job. Uh, yeah, it's, right. it's just distractions. Uh, you know, one of the things that I found is so like everybody wants to do a good job, right? If you give someone the choice, they'd rather be effective than not effective. And so if we can give them the tools to do their jobs really well, like. I'm, I'm not a lawyer, but I can imagine summarizing a 500 page brief, like, isn't the most exciting thing, but if I can get a summary and then do analysis on it, that's, that's using my, my degree. And so we're looking for ways to make our associates more productive and making their jobs more fun. Yeah, no, I, I think that's 
a killer way to look at it is making people more productive. I think that, uh, you know, again, we're big fans of Gen AI and AI in general here on the cube. Uh, and I, I think, you know, again, uh, that that's just the way it should be. Any, any last thoughts on this uh, as we come to the end here? Uh, my last thought is um, watch out for Walmart. We are, we are big tech. You know, maybe you don't think of us in the same breath as Google, Microsoft, Amazon, you know, the West Coast companies, but, you know, we've got a big engineering team. We've got 25,000 engineers focused on making the lives of our customers better and making the lives of our associates better. And Gen AI is a great tool, which is going to allow us to do this really well. Yeah, if if somebody doesn't think of you guys as a tech company, uh, they've been living under a rock for the last like <laughs> ten years. I, I go back to having worked with uh, Walmart and even in the OpenStack days back, you know, when that was a thing before cloud really had taken off, uh, and how it was build your own cloud. So, I appreciate you, David, coming on and really sharing what Walmart's doing with Gen AI. Uh, you know, again, this is really super exciting stuff. What you're doing with my assist and with me at campus and helping it really be smarter to help your associates. Well, thank you for having me. It was wonderful to be here. Okay, thank you. And remember, you can stay up to date with all things AI by visiting siliconangle.com. Thank you for watching The Cube, the leader in high-tech enterprise analysis and coverage. Stay tuned for more with SuperCloud 4.